What's up guys? So today is April 17th. It's a very big day, okay? Um, we had our first bull snake, decided to lay her eggs a day early. So really, really excited. She's actually due tomorrow. She shed on April 8th and so she went at day nine. So she started earlier this morning when we walked in and we're pretty sure she's done. So we came back um, tonight and let's go check her out. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna take her right over here. And then you guys can get a better look. Nice. All right, so really exciting. The clutch actually looks great. Um, how many do you think there is? I said 12 earlier today before when she had one out. So I said 12. What'd you say? 13. <laughs> you guys can take a guess, whatever. Um, anyways, there is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Woo! I think you cheated. I, I didn't, I promise. <laughs> I just took a really good guess. All right, so this is actually a Kankakee County bull snake. She was my very first bull snake, actually. Um, her in the mail I got with her. Or maybe I got the mail a year later. I don't know, anyway, um, I got her back in 2016, so she's eight years old. Um, and she just produced a great clutch. So, anyways, these guys are from Kankakee County, Illinois. Um, they're just a locality, so it's not really a morph, but they're one of my favorites of the bull snakes. So, I just really liked the, uh, the tricolor look is really what I was after when I got into these. Um, mine definitely turned out to be more of like just the black versions. Um, she's the one that has more of the tricolor look, if you guys can see, like, you know, she starts black up here. And then she gets some of the browns coming through here and then goes back into a black towards her tail. Um, and I just really love the contrast of the yellows with the blacks. And then when you get the tricolor look and have browns in there, man, that was just my favorite thing. So, anyways, one big reason I like them so much is just the contrasting colors. They're just really cool. She's always been a really nice snake. Um, as you guys can see, she's, like, very chill right now. I promise she is alive. She's just exhausted from laying her eggs. So, anyway, the process of what we do next now. So, what I actually do first is I just put her away. You know, she doesn't, her job is done. So, we just kind of take her off and uh, take a look at her. As you can see, she's all good. She worked really hard. It's a good mama. So anyways, and then I usually just do a quick run through of them too. Just run down their belly just to make sure that they really did get everything out and she's pretty flat. So she's good, she's all cleared out. So I'll just go throw her back in her cage really quick and then I'll be right back and we'll take care of these eggs. All right, so what we do next is we take our flashlight and then we do something that we call candling. So, uh, yeah, I think we're still gonna have to go under the table. So let's go under the table really quick so maybe you guys can get a better view. It's just a little darker under here. Oh yeah, I feel like you guys could see that probably. Anyway, what we're looking for when we candle is veins. We're looking for nice red veins like spider webs going across the egg and around the embryo. So the embryo is like right here and then the veins are all around it. And that's what we're looking for when we candle them. That means that it's a fertile egg. All right, so we definitely know that this single one was good. So then we're just gonna candle the rest of them. And I'm just gonna, oh yeah, okay. Just run through them really quick. That one must be on the other side. That one's good, that one's good. Yep. All right, well, I just didn't see this one, but it must be like right there. I think we got a good clutch. Everything looks good. Perfect. So then what I do next is, not everybody does this, which is totally fine. I do, it's a habit I got from my mom actually, is I actually separate the whole pile. 
um, especially when they're fresh enough to separate. Uh, it is something that you do need to be very careful with um, because you could rip the egg. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> so um, I like to separate them though so they're all individual because um, then it's way easier to cut them later when they're ready to hatch um, instead of working around other eggs. That can get messy and it's hard. Um, and then it also makes it easier if one goes bad, you know, uh, to just throw it out also. So anyways, I just do it really carefully. Um, the the eggshells can be a little thin sometimes, so like I said, you do need to be careful. This is not necessary, so you can leave them in a pile. So if you don't feel comfortable doing that, if you ever get eggs, that's totally fine. It's not gonna hurt anything if you leave them all together. This is just my personal preference. All right, so as I start separating them, I'm gonna go ahead and actually start putting the ones that I've already separated into the egg box. So, I already had some made up because I was expecting. <laughs> so anyways, um, this is our vermiculite and perlite mixture. Um, so this is actually recycled ones that we used last year. Um, so we just keep them we keep the substrate for a year, and then we'll use it again, but once this is done with this clutch, then I'll throw it away. So that's what we do. Um, we don't make up a new one every year for the colubrids usually. So, anyways. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'll just like separate them, and I'll just put them away as I go, and I'll orient them however they really like were, is what I try to do. So whatever position they were laid in, so like this one I'll try and orient this way, this one I'll try and go that way. Anyway, I'll try and keep it somewhat similar. And then if you have like gunk that gets on them, depending on what kind of substrate you use for the lay box, I usually try and just like scrape some of that off. Um, just to prevent any other sort of like molding that might happen. So anyway, plus they look cleaner that way. Alright, so I just finished getting them all put in there, so we've got all 12 in there. I did leave a couple of chunks actually together, um, it was just easier, and when they're all flat like this, I don't mind as much. So anyway, but when they're stacked, that's when I take them off. Um, so anyway, we've got all 12 in there, so this is ready to get sealed up. And then the last things I do is just I do the paperwork. So I gotta write down all the information on the lay sheet, and then I'll write up the tag, and I'll get the tag on there. And uh, we should see these babies in about 60 days. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you guys like this, make sure you like our page. And keep watching for something cool next time.